In this video, I show how I draw a small square house with Plan 7 Architect. I select a wall from the catalogue, and both the length and the width of the house is 10 feet. I am drawing this house for demonstration purposes. I won't explain very much. Just draw. Rooms are automatically detected, and the area is automatically calculated. I can also switch on the external dimensions down here. Next, I'll draw the doors. We have many different doors in the catalogue. First I make an entrance door, and then interior doors. I'm drawing a staircase now. By the way, you can also see everything here on the right at the same time in 3D mode. I can now also change this staircase individually. I will add railings. Then I draw windows. And at the entrance, there is a small window. I draw a patio door. And my ground floor is now finished. I'm going to draw another floor on top of it. And copy all the outer walls. And interior walls as well and doors and windows. Now a second floor has been created for me. I'll remove the front door. Everything else can stay that way. I draw a roof, and I do that on another floor. So I'm going to make another floor for the roof, and I don't copy walls. I now have another floor for the roof. On this floor, I draw a rectangular roof on my building. That's what it looks like now. It's a bit too high. That's why I'm lowering it a bit. Then I would like to have two gables at the front and back. That's why I click on Roof, then on Roof side. And here for the lower side of the house, select Gable once. And for the side up there. I have the wooden construction on the roof displayed. I could customize it individually, but I'll leave it as it is. Then I click here. For these two sides, I make a smaller slope.
I'm doing a bigger overhang all over. I could also set everything individually here, but this is just a demonstration video. Well, we're on the top floor right now. And here I'm drawing a wall into the gable. And the gable is closed here. On the other side, I also draw a wall into the gable. And the gable is also closed here. Now I could assign textures. To do this, I'll turn on the ground floor. In 3D mode too. And here on the left in the 2D floor plan, I turn on the map 2D view so that I can see the textures. I open up the textures. Now I could assign different textures. And I can also assign the textures to each element. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a floor or a wall. I can also assign them to doors and 3D objects and all kinds of elements. Next, I place my 3D objects. Here we have our catalog. So, now I've set up the 3D objects. I skip this because that took a little longer. And I also wanted to say that you can also import 3D objects from Google's 3D warehouse and that you can find millions of objects there. Next, I draw the terrace. I have already drawn the 3D objects on the terrace. I'll draw it as a plate and make it thinner. and lower it a little. Then it'll make a driveway as a slab. Make it thinner as well. Lower it and cars will come onto the driveway. I import a car. I give the driveway a different texture. And the terrace too. And if I now display all the floors, then my house looks like this. I give the upper floors a bricks texture. Maybe red bricks.
I draw a balcony. To do this, I activate my second floor. And draw here with the plate function. A balcony. Around the balcony a railing. And I can also choose different railings from the catalogue. I choose this. This is what it looks like. You could also import railings as a 3D object. There are many different possibilities. And now I'll have the shadow calculated. And this is what my house looks like now with the shadow calculation. Now, I would export it to twin motion like this. And see what it looks like there. The house is now in twin motion. This is a free software by Epic Games. It recently cost a lot of money and is now free of charge. It can be used to visualize 3D projects in the field of architecture very well. And you can assign textures, add a vegetation, and this is what it looks like in the 3D mode. I can also shoot videos here and you can use our pro version to create and export projects in 3DS format at TW and then visualize them at Twin Motion.